Hello Internet, Steve here again with another Unity Asset Store review. Today we are going to be doing another Cintiq Studio uh, asset. Today will be the Polygon Horror Mansion asset by Cintiq Studios. <laughs> um, the, so I'm just going to go over the four criteria real quick. Um, uh, for quality, just like with all their low poly assets, uh, I, I think the quality is good. They do a good job on... Um, on uh, specifically their Polygon series, uh, cranking a lot of fidelity into low poly assets. So yeah, absolutely. Again, as a reminder, we just do pass fail. We don't do number ratings. So quality passes. Um, modularity and workability, this one definitely passes. Um, if you watch any of my previous art asset videos, you uh, uh, reviews, you'll know that I am a stickler for uh, modularity and specifically like breaking out your uh, art assets into uh, pieces so you can fit the so you as a level designer can make all sorts of unique you know levels and buildings this one does that really well um, and we'll go we'll dive into that a little bit once we get into the actual um, into the actual uh, 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 scenes and everything um, <clears throat> and then the serviceability, uh, they ha they do a good job, in my opinion, of um, of uh, uh, communicating with their customers. Uh, they're they're pretty notorious for being for for doing that um, and just having good communication. So that support and serviceability, I, I, I give a pass to as well. And then the value. So this one retails at the time of recording this uh, for $99.99 USD. So nine, uh, so essentially $100 USD. Um, I think that the value that you get from this pack for 100 bucks is very high. Uh, so yeah, I, I would definitely pass it on the value. Um, <clears throat> Cintiq Studios also runs a lot of sales. In fact, when I, at the time of recording this, the winter sale is still going on, and there this asset in particular is 50% off. Uh, so it's $49.99 uh, during that sale. Um, I, I think that the base price of 100 bucks is well worth the money, but if you can get it on sale, eh, even better. So. Without further ado, let's jump right into the uh, gameplay footage here. So I just like normal, I just pop my character controller down in and push play. Um, so right off the bat, I, I, I should mention this one does not have a manifest scene. Um, so we're going to try to break down the uh, most pertinent um, assets in this scene after we hop on into editor mode. So right off the bat, you've got some cool fencing. Uh, you've got some effects back there, some particle effects, some fog effects. Uh, you have your uh, uh, hedge maze stuff here. Um, got a couple of clutters for out here, outdoor clutters. Um, so this is all is all again very very much the same those are just modularized there's a fair amount of different trees uh tree variants and shrubbery variants got some ivy pieces um i don't know if you noticed on that gate but the gate over there has those spiky tops there uh and that or the fence rather and then these this, this one does not so there's variants of those that you can play around with um, this fountain is unique. Then you've got the, well actually no, let's run around the back first. So you've got a few different set pieces. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of level clutter in this asset, which again, if you've watched my previous videos, you know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for. So all sorts of things like logs and the stuff you saw out there in the hedge maze and, you know, wood chippers, like in Fargo, you're going to, chop people up with, although that's not really enough blood for that, but uh, different tools, ladders, stuff like that, benches, potting plants, there's different versions of the logs, um, all sorts of shit like this on the workbench, uh, all sorts of, you know, keys, all just sorts of, again, clutter. Um, 
different set pieces like the furnace and stuff, and there's even more of those variants inside of the actual uh, mansion once we get in there. Uh, the doors are all modularized, the walls are all modularized. You've got these sorts of uh, tops, which um, you get modularized. So you have a uh, greenhouse here, greenhouse garden. These are all, indiv Ooh, these are all individualized pieces. So obviously wall running and uh, slicing works on here, just right out the box. So they set up the colliders really well. Uh, again, lots of different shrubbery options. Um, this is the same uh, uh, picking table fountain combination that was up in front. Uh, just sort of different ways you can utilize those. More potting plants or potted plants. Um, so these guys, if you look carefully, again, this sort of speaks to the modularity. These pieces are the same pieces as they use in certain parts of, here we go. Uh, no, here we go. Certain parts like that of the uh, full mansion. So you can build smaller little shacks with them. The chimney stuff is all modularized. Um, all the obvious stuff that would, you know, so this would be in the real world, like a guest house sort of thing. Um, so different bed options, but these interiors, uh, these walls are all, again, the same walls that are inside of the actual uh, mansion. So let's hop, actually let's go in through the basement. So you can see sort of there's a basement. So we're going to go in down the cellar here. Go down here first. There's like a jail area down here. So um, there's some little meat hooks with blood on them. Uh, again, more clutter. You know how much of a you know sucker I am for clutter. More clutter. Clutter galore. <laughs> uh, so these uh, walls are all modularized. Um, these sorts of stamps uh sort of weird like portal into hell or whatever uh, into the upside down if you will um those are also modularized there's a few more uh wall stamps like that that we'll look at upstairs just a lot of clutter a lot of clutter i mean chalice birdcage all this creepy you know victorian type crap <laughs> like i uh, half expect to see a uh like a little girl in a you know Victorian era, like a semi-translucent little girl in a Victoria era dress, just chilling behind me. But uh, so this chest was the same chest that was outside. So obviously these are also modularized, uh, you know, coffins because can't have horror without coffins. Um, so that's another stamp you got there. Um, so these sorts of stamps here, those, uh, from what I remember, should just be able to be slapped on. Um, to the different walls wherever you want. I don't know why that's doing that, but whatever. Closets, you know, vampire assassin uh, uh, briefcase. <laughs> um, so now let's go upstairs. Oh, let's do this first. So there's another little stamp. Uh, so let's go upstairs then. The vampire assassin. Uh, uh, how do I get upstairs? I swear I've done this before. There it is. <laughs> All right. So here's where we came, or here's not where we came in, but here's the where we uh, here's the back door, and then up here we've got the front door. So this is where we started the actual scene. Um, <clears throat> so there's a grand staircase. You've got all these sorts of blood splatter and torn wallpaper uh, stamps that you can plop in. You have these through pieces. Uh, you got these three pieces. Oh, well, sliding works. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, fireplaces, various uh, broken glass, broken windows, and broken glass options. Slash, you know, slash stamps. Um, <clears throat> the gates are open. <laughs> uh, all the different kitchen stuff that you could possibly want. Um, more clutter. There's, there's, this, this is a really, really good asset for clutter. Just, again, being completely frank. So you've got uh, study sets, tile sets, if you will. 
uh, wallpapers and rugs and floors and stuff. Um, another different fireplace from the one downstairs. Got some jacked up books, like they're burning them. Uh, so just variants of those clutter pieces. Um, vents, ventilations, so all sorts of satanic symbols and crap, you know, blood options. Um, multiple tiki masks. We saw one downstairs, but, you know, there's even more of them in here. More desks, more amar uh, armors. I can't talk today. So, let us then uh, go upstairs. So, pentagrams, or technically upside down pentagrams, all sorts of fun stuff. I don't know if you saw that, light, that lightning effect, but more, there it goes. So you got FX, different FXs that come with the pack. Um, so, just because I want to make, show you that that also works. Um, so, different light switches, I forgot to point those out. Uh, there's bathroom stuff, bathtubs, um, toilets, obviously you gotta have, gotta have toilets, right? <laughs> um, so those same grates, just modular assets that you can plop anywhere. Um, so ladder up here, and I don't know if I can, yep, I can get up there, okay. So. More paintings, Civil War paintings, because, of course, it has to be a Civil War house. Um, <laughs> so, that's essentially that. So, let's hop into editor mode, and we'll kind of explore. Uh, I'll just click on various parts that I wanted to show off, and then we'll cut the video. Um, so, obviously, the walls... And the doorways are all, uh, actually I'll do this in the spectrum mode. So the walls and the doorways are all uh, individually modularized, which is, again, how it should be. Uh, these guys, so this is, I'll pull this out this way. So you've got your, you see how that's a different piece? And this broken piece, for example, is the same as the one I, jump through, uh, where was that? It's over here. Yeah, this one. And here too, with these guys, these guys are just, you can yank those out, but this is the same broken door piece. So there's lots of different um, variations you can play around with with that. Uh, I believe that that is the same, I think that's the same one. They just, uh, yeah, so that is also the same one. They just put a different one of these guys on there. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously, these guys are modularized. <laughs> so you can slap those wherever. Uh, the rugs are all mod are all modular, so you can slap those wherever. The um, uh, the floor piece, the, the floor, yeah, the floor pieces here are also, uh, it's easy to swap out the carpet material on those, just like any normal you know, well-designed asset, art asset would be, um, oh, here we go, these guys. So see how these are just decals that you can slap on anywhere. It's the same with all of these, same with the blood marks. Um, so, so that, that sort of hyper-modularity is what I really, oops, <laughs> Let's see if I can just, there we go. Nope. <laughs> so, oh man. There we go. So the blood splatters are all decals as well. That that sort of hypermodularity, you know, I've talked in previous videos about less is more. And doing smart design decisions like that, setting up your asset intelligently with things like that, allows for a level designer to really get creative with how they build out levels. That's the sort of modularity that I like to see and where this particular asset really does excel. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, and obviously, you know, windows are all individual. You can plop those if you want to do like a bay of circular windows. All of these things are 
all, all, all of these critical pieces are very, very modularized, which again, that's what I like to see. That's what I want to see. That's what I wish all Cintiq Studio, uh, uh, all Cintiq Studio assets did. They don't, you know, uh, if you watch my apocalyptic one, you know, you'll know that uh, I was critical of it for that reason. And um, I wish that, uh, <laughs> I wish that with some of those assets, they had taken this approach. Um, but they didn't. So this is the way that you do modularity. Uh, so you see how these are all modularized as well. So you can create your own like IV systems. Oh. I really do wish that this had a, um, a, uh, a um, asset manifest page, but it doesn't. So the planters here are individual and then they just took one of the trees at here and shrunk it down. Let's see if we can find that tree. Uh, well, they took one of the trees and shrunk it down, but you can do that with almost anything because again, of how they created these from a very modularized standpoint. Um, uh, the other thing I wanted to point out was, oh, um, that's right, the, these guys. So see how it's the same, but then they just gave you these additional spike tops to be able to really expand that out and uh, do better or do more creative stuff with. Um, uh, I think... I think that covers it all. Oh, I never noticed that before. <laughs> never noticed that before. That is that is funny. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I feel like there was something else I want to point out, but I do not remember what it was. So I think uh, so. These are these are the same pieces, I believe, as are in some of their other um, some of their other uh, assets that have road pieces in them. Um, then they just did the trick where they obviously pull up a, a um, dirt cover piece, and so it looks more unique and more weathered. Um, <clears throat> Chimneys are all individualized, so you can make those as big or small as you want. And actually, I forgot to check this. I think, yeah, they are. Uh, is this the one? Yeah. yeah, this should be independent. Yeah, sure is. Okay. So, yeah, that's the Horror Mansion pack from Centene Studios. Uh, like I said, I think this is a good pack. Um, I think it is well worth the hundred dollar price tag uh and like i said if you can get it on sale even better uh let me know if 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 you have this asset uh let me know what you think of it in the comments if you don't let me know if i can answer any questions about it um and uh i will see everyone in the next one thanks for watching